Yellowstone volcano shock. It's astonishing, but there is growing heat in the phenomenal thermal area, and this stuns the USGS geologists. Sebastian Ketley Express UK reports. The Yellowstone supervolcano thermal area, 20 years in the making, has stunned Yellowstone scientists according to US Geological Survey report. This is the from the latest Caldera Chronicles report. The Yellowstone volcano thermal area appears in the northern part of the National Park and is visible via Google Earth. There are more than, as we know, 10,000 thermal features across Supervolcano Park, and they have not yet recorded and examined them all. They're in the process of doing all this, and this is how they found out what is happening in this area. So, uh, 10,000 features across the park, ranging from scorching geysers, fumaroles and uh, springs to hot springs, all of these thermal areas, these thermal features are evidence of the intense magnetic, magmatic processes deep beneath Yellowstone, but the features are ever-changing, and as they heat up and cool down, the USGS said they can move around Yellowstone. USGS scientist Greg Vaughn said in the latest Caldera Chronicles, quote, these sort of changes are part of the normal life cycles of the thermal areas in Yellowstone National Park. Recently, we have discovered another phenomenal example of thermal change, the emergence of a new thermal area, which has taken place over the past 20 years. So this is a new area, and they have to go out and see it. They've seen it now with uh, imaging, and they have not yet set foot on it, so I guess that's the next step, to send out the geologists and the scientists to observe it closely, from hands-on experience, that is. So, this has taken place in the past 20 years. The new area was found just to the east of Turn Lake, another prominent thermal area in the region. Geologists observed the first inklings of that development that developing area back in 2006. This was due to the detailed satellite imagery of the park. Satellite photos of the now recognized thermal area taken in 1994 show an area of healthy tree growth and a vegetation near Turn Lake. But by 2006, about 12 years later, Images snapped for the National Agricultural Imagery Program, NAIP for short, revealed the first signs of a tree kill zone and patches of barren vegetation appearing where the soil was heating up. Now, what, uh, the, the way that happens, the trees die because of what happens underneath in the ground. The soil, the ground is so warm, so hot, that it kills the trees. And that's where this is, there's a tree kill zone. Now, uh, this is what happened in, uh, when they compared the 1994 images of 2006. The patches of barren vegetation appearing where the soil was heating up. The latest satellite images taken in 2017 have since shed light on the expanding area of dead trees and bright soil reminiscent of a thermal area. And you can find the thermal area on Google Earth or Google Maps by punching the coordinates 44.6635 degrees north and 110.279 degrees west. The USGS states, the 1994 air photos, while black and white and lower spatial resolution, clearly show that this was once an area of healthy trees with no hint of a thermal area. So this is the news here. What was at one point normal is now becoming a new thermal area, and who knows what it is until they go actually go and put hands-on experience to observe. Other historic imagery that have been analyzed indicate that this thermal area started forming in the late 1990s or early 2000s. It is also notable that between 2006 and 2017, 
There was an increase in the size of the tree kill zone on the north side of the previously mapped Turn Lake thermal area. Geologists use the term thermal area to describe one or more thermal features, such as geysers or fumaroles surrounded by sifting ground, gas emissions, or heated ground. Most of Yellowstone's thermal features are clustered in just 120 thermal areas, such as the Upper Geyser Basin, that has the uh, Old Faithful, we have the Norris Geyser Basin, that has Steamboat Geyser and Turn Lake. And many of these areas are hidden away in the more inaccessible wild parts of the park where tourists rarely dare to go. And because of this, scientists from Yellowstone Volcano Observatory branch of the USGS have to rely on satellite images to track the changes in this uh, vegetation in Yellowstone. USGS said the recognition of the new thermal area is a great example of the importance of satellite thermal infrared imaging, especially images acquired at night because mapping Yellowstone for mapping, mapping Yellowstone thermal areas. Now this is exactly the sort of behavior we expect from Yellowstone's dynamic hydrothermal activity and it highlights that changes are always taking place somewhere in remote and generally inaccessible areas of the park. The last major eruption, caldera forming blast at Yellowstone, the big blast, we're talking about the super blasts, occurred sometime between uh, 630,000 and 640,000 years ago. Of course there was a smaller one 70,000 years ago. There are those who have claimed that uh, we've had 50 lava eruptions from Yellowstone and that these eruptions take place just about every 6,000 years. We're not talking about the super eruptions, we're talking about the other ones. Now the Yellowstone eruption was uh, preceded by two more blasts that was at 1.3 million years and 2.1 million years ago. But in the aftermath of Yellowstone's major eruption, there have been numerous smaller eruptive and non-eruptive events. The USGS has found geological evidence of at least 80 non-explosive eruptions, of which 27 produced lava flows in the Yellowstone caldera. So it wasn't 50, it was 80. 80. Non-explosive, but they produced lava flows, just like we had in Kilauea last year. The USGS said the most recent volcanic eruption at Yellowstone, a lava flow on the Pitchstone Plateau, occurred about 70,000 years ago. Now, as USGS says, they have over 10,000 of these hydrothermal areas to examine. And I suppose that once the weather starts getting warmer and it's not uh, icy and snowy, hopefully they'll send their geologists in this new warmed up area, this new thermal area, so that they can take measurements and observe it to see what exactly is going on there. Is there a new geyser forming? Are there new fumaroles? Are there new um, springs there, hot springs? And uh, they'll have to come back with uh, their observations as to uh, a better idea of what exactly is going on there. So uh, I'll leave links below for you for this. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. 
and we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece, in Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.